turning young girls into leaders since 1912. Hi, I'm Tonya Caruso. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. And joining us right now is Lisa Shade from Girl Scouts, Western Pennsylvania. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You have such a big presence here. Uh, 36,000 members and 6,000 active volunteers. That's right. We have um, great numbers of Girl Scouts all throughout the Pittsburgh region, and they're getting ready to launch their summer camp season pretty soon. So a lot of excited girls out there um, really trying to make their plans for the best summer ever. Right. And so you impact um, young girls in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, you think about Girl Scouts, you think about cookies, but this is about more than just having something good to eat. Sure. When you buy a box of cookies from a Girl Scout, you do get a box of delicious cookies, but that cookie does so much more for Girl Scouts than just deliver that delicious treat. Uh, Girl Scout cookie uh, the, it's a program, so Girl Scouts learn very important skills from their experience selling cookies. They learn decision making, money management, people skills, business ethics, and these are skills that are going to last them a lifetime. And it really helps give them a foundation and a lot of confidence to really start thinking about what they want to do as, as they get older and prepared to enter the workforce because they have great financial literacy skills all ready to go uh, for when they're making decisions about their own careers. And the Girl Scout Cookie Program is, is a great first experience people have with business. As a matter of fact, no university has produced as many female business owners as the Girl Scout Cookie Program. I love that factoid. I think that is great. And so if you missed the opportunity and you weren't able to buy cookies from a Girl Scout this season, um, there are still ways that you can get your hands on some. There are. Luckily, if you missed a Girl Scout or if you ate all of the ones that you ordered from a Girl Scout, um, all the way through um, till the middle of March, you'll be able to catch them outside of your local grocery store, home improvement store. This is our booth sale phase. So Girl Scouts are out there um, selling cookies to make the goals that they set initially because goal setting is another important part of our program. And they have big plans that they're trying to finance with their cookie proceeds. So when you encounter a Girl Scout at a booth sale, you can really help her build those skills by asking her about what her goals are and asking her about what her plans in Girl Scouting are because they're going to be able to tell you how many cookies they want to sell and what they plan to do with the proceeds. And a lot of times you'll hear things like, I want to go to camp or we're traveling to New York City or Savannah or perhaps Mexico or Sweden. But you'll also hear things about the community service projects that they hope to accomplish within their own communities. So when you're buying a box of Girl Scout cookies, you're not only helping that Girl Scout learn great skills and have great adventures, but you're also investing in your own community as well. And not only in your own community, but there's a part of this program that reaches overseas to military men and women? There is. We have Operation Sweet Appreciation, which is a great continuation of our annual cookie program. Girl Scouts have a very long history of being of sending care packages to men and women who are serving in the U.S. military overseas. This expands on their efforts by um, helping them send even more cookies as a sweet thank you to those people whose dedicated service really benefits us here at home. So uh, people can make donations right online at gswpa slash dot org slash military and their donation helps send those cookies overseas to those men and women and it also benefits local Girl Scouts. So if you know a local Girl Scout and you want her, her to receive the proceeds from your donation, you just type her name right in there and she'll be able to, to count that toward her goal so that she can continue um, to plan the projects and her adventures through Girl Scouting and send those great treats over to the U.S. military. Oh, well, and it's so important. Such great work we do. Before we go quickly, the top selling Girl Scout flavor cookie is? Is the Thin Mint. Yes, that is the most popular flavor. It wins every poll and every voting every year. Well, there we go. Thanks so much for coming in and spending time with us today. We certainly do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I'm Tonya Caruso. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll see you next time.